Hi there, this is just a quick video to show you I finished this one um, scarf yarn dress. Um, what I ended up doing is I ended up putting these, you know, the little roses you buy. I just ended up putting little white roses. I put three up here and I put every six double crochets, I put some white roses. Um, what I ended up doing was um, finishing off the edges. Let me take it off of her. I finished doing the um, edging by hand. I didn't do it by machine because it was just with this white um, fuzzy yarn. It was just too difficult. So I just finished the edges by hand. And um, let me show you how I finished it off. But what I'm talking about is these little white fuzzy, fuzzy ends. What you can do if you have this kind of yarn, what you can do is just peel off all the way into the final piece that you want to use and then you just um, tie that those two threads just tie them into a knot and that will keep that um, fur from um, completely um, coming off on you and that'll finish that edge and then as far as the rest of it you just whip stitch it with a um, black thread or whatever color the yarn is and you'll will barely even see it but that was how I finished off that edge and then where it came to this point right here I just cut off till about I don't know maybe two of the in, inner threads and then I just folded it over and I just whip stitched it and that gave me um, the ending of the edges a pair of um, bloomers with little red roses here and I made her a pair of sandals. Um, these sandals I didn't even fuss with them. I just used, you know how you get those paper crafts that you can get if you're into scrapbooking? I just put a little, one of those little self-adhesive dots on the top. I just cut some glitter vinyl, put a piece of, this is just black elastic, and I put one of those dots on the top. I was actually going to put a, a rose on here and I thought, well, if I go that specific on a pair of shoes, it, um, it would just be for this outfit. Now I can uh, wear this with any black and red or white outfit I want to. So that's why I did that. Okay, so as far as the inside went on this, as soon as I got past that waistline, I increased. I went every stitch, every other stitch, I did two double crochets in the same stitch. So it was one double crochet in one stitch, next stitch, two double crochets, all the way across. And um, then um, I just finished off with single crochets, and then at the bottom, I put in a shell. And that's how I finished that off. But here's how I did the edges. So they just I just whip stitched them. So they pretty much just hang right like the regular thread would hang. I can find the end here. Yeah, they don't have to be perfectly even, but I just sewed them in. I don't know how close you can see it, but it's it turned out nicer than the edge on the sewing machine. So I guess it just depends on how much time you want to put in your outfit. But anyway, that's how I did it. Um, I did three roses here on the top. And then every six crochets, double crochets, I just um, sewed a stitch in. I just used red thread. You can't even see on this side where I put the stitches in for the roses. But that was the, um, the final for that, um, the ending for that um, uh, scarf yarn. And here I just um, put in, I think I put in one, two, three, four, five snaps. And that's how I finished off the outfit. So um, it's however you want to do it. And whatever type of scarf yarn you want to use, you can just snap right on top and let the um, flow of the scarf yarn just hang over the back. And that's how I did that. You can fluff it up so it's nice and fluffy. But um, that was my version of the um, and then as far as these go, I just made a plain little pair of, um, I don't even know if I have the pattern over here anymore. Yeah, I just made bloomers, 
bloomers for animators, and that's basically all the pattern looks like, just like that, the front and the back. I, because her belly goes down like this, I sort of, I should have added a little bit more on top here because it wasn't quite, I had to use, um, oh, bias tape for her waistline because I made the pattern too little for her, but, um, and I didn't make the legs tight either, so I just added some um, lace at the bottom and then I put the rose in and then I did the center seam and that was how I did her bloomers. But, you know, you can make these things really cute if you, you know, depends on how much time you want to put in. But that was the end of that dress for the animators, for the um, scarf yarn. That's the end of that one. So cute. You can come up with all kinds of cute and use different types of yarn. Uh, yarn here, use different types of scarf yarn, and you can come up with all kinds of different... Um, different ways of doing it. And you can even make this yarn even longer so that the red will show right through. I might have stopped it one layer too soon. If you look on the inside, I might have been better off going one more row of double crochets because I'll show you what I mean when I look, see, on the inside here. If I would have gone one more, that red would have covered right to the white and I think I might have been better off but I'm not taking it out to do it again, but you may want to go a little bit, one more row down if you want to cover completely the bottom or just stop at the waistline and put a fabric skirt in. I mean, there's just so many options you can do. Okay, I'll talk to you later.